Ah, the Splatoon series. You know, that third-person shooter series released by Nintendo in 2015? A game franchise that still has a strong fan base, even eight years later. And from what I think, the most striking and arguably the most unique aspect of the Splatoon series is its music. And with wonderful music, there will always be idiots who will be attempting to rank every single one of these songs, which in fact, is what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be ranking a bit over 200 unique songs from Splatoon 1, 2, and 3 that I will be ranking from tiers ranging from C tier to X tier, from worst to best. I didn't add F tier as I don't think a single song in the Splatoon franchise is actually that bad. It's just that some songs just so happen to be better than others. Now, before I get into this, let's lay down some ground rules. First, I will not be including any songs that are technically not songs, but sound effects that are too short to be considered a song which is 10 seconds or longer. Second, I will not be including repeat songs, songs that appear multiple times within the series with little to no changes, so I'll group them into one. And you'll be surprised with how many repeat songs are in this series. And this will not apply to any remixes or if they're labeled as remixes. And lastly, you know, I think I shouldn't really have to explain this, but this video is 100% my opinion. So if you feel free to, you know, disagree with me, I don't care. But go ahead and uh, leave that negative comment in your head, or you can type it, you know. Maybe that will lead me into the depressive spiral just to show your little amazing opinion. Anyways, back on track. I will be very short with every song as we will have a little over 200 songs to get through. So don't expect too much of a deep analysis of every song. Just a basic overview with my opinion. Now with that laid out, let's get into the meat and potatoes of it all. The tier list ranking. I don't know how I messed up. And the least best Splatoon song award goes to, drumroll please, Tornado Shuffle. Yay. Yeah, this song is extremely forgettable, and it's just a song, and it doesn't sound unique, and it just sounds like it was created by an AI. But hey, to be fair, all Splatoon songs sound like they were created by an AI, so... I mean, I can't really blame you there. At least the Octoling intercom part, like the little voices are pretty cool, but everything else is just meh. You know, that's about it, but not that. Okay. Now, the next one on our list is the Battle Lose jingle from Splatoon 1. It does its fucking job by making you fucking mad, but that's about it. You know, it's just a little goofy theme, you know, it makes you mad, but it's just kind of meh, you know, that's it. Now on to this one, Splatoon 1 for the most part had fantastic battle music, but this one does not hit the mark at all. The song doesn't really have build up to something which makes it sound really flat, and besides the erratic piano banging inside the song, it does get quite annoying. And it's not bad, but comparing it to the other songs, it makes it stand out like a sore thumb really badly. Now for our first Splatoon 3 song. This is the Crater Overworld theme, you know, the theme that you barely hear for about like 25 minutes of the first part of the game in Splatoon 3. And it's just really weak, and I get that it's only for our first few levels, and honestly, it's pretty good atmospherically, you know, with the whole chaos theme, but it's overall very lacking. And on to this transition with this song, Low Tide, is only heard once in Splatoon 2, which is the beginning conversation of story mode, which is when you're talking to Marie. And that's really about it. You never hear it again. That's it. So, it's getting C tier. Now, another deal with this song, which is the Table Turf Level Select. You know, it's really basic. It's, you know, it's basic. That's literally all I can describe it. Now, let's move on. Now, Splatoon 3's opening battle track is actually 
fine. You know, it starts out like you're about to start a brutal match with stakes, but because it barely makes the cut, in my opinion, I can only rank it here. Now, it kind of pains me to put this song into C tier because the Octa expansion really does have the best music in the entire franchise, and it's only a DLC, okay? But there is bound to be a bit of stinkers, and this is it. Number 16, Salty, which is supposed to be one of those time attack songs to inflict anxiety on you. But it just ends up sounding really bland and easily forgettable as it thinks that being loud equals fear, which is, we all know that's not the case. Now the show music is actually good, you know what? But, because I hate the concept of the shawl, in order to even play properly the shawl, you need 8 local multiplayer switches with Splatoon 3. So they can take out shared multiplayer from Splatoon 1, basically non-usable shawl that somehow is still in Splatoon 3. But, back to the song, it's cool with its arcade-esque sound, but it's also really basic and it's kind of forgettable, so I'm breaking it here because it's my tier list. Now, Sea Foam Shanty is a fine Splatoon 2 battle song. It just sounds really boring and, and sounding like a really boring background music for most of the time you listen to it. There's not really much here to know, it's just a Splatoon song. Wow. Turf Master Win, which is basically the victory music after you win a battle match. And honestly, it's nothing special. It's just a more generic victory music. Also, I will be grouping the Splatoon 1, 2, and 3 versions all together because they all sound very similar, quality-wise, of course. Another similar case was this one, Now or Never, is the track that plays during the last 30 seconds of a Turf War match. And honestly, these three songs aren't bad, they just get annoying after a while playing, especially if you're a long-time veteran. You know, it's supposed to build tension, but it doesn't build tension at all, and it just becomes annoying. And it interrupts the better battle songs, you know, it's annoying, even if you barely play Turf War. Octo Weaponry is the song that plays whenever you're fighting a boss in Splatoon 1. Well, one specific boss, which is Octo Stamp. Which the boss has actually appeared in every single Splatoon game. A little fun fact right there. But yeah, very mid, very generic and repetitive. Let's move on. And that is actually our last song in C tier. Wow, that was actually quite short because there's not very many mediocre songs in this Splatoon franchise. And that's actually a really good thing. Now, let's move on to B tier, which are songs that I like. You know, they're good songs. That's it. Now for our first song in B tier is Chaos Carnival, which is the first Salmon Run song, I think, yeah, to appear on this list. And this is a pretty good and fun chaotic sound to it, as the name suggests. It's a fun track, but it's definitely the weakest Salmon Run song in the catalog. Moving on. Now we have the end credit song of Splatoon 3, and it's probably my least favorite one out of all the three end credit songs that we have. Like I love the whole, you know, futuristic synth vibe going on as it fits the space theme of the final battle. Also, yeah, spoiler warnings. And I think it just works as, you know, it works for that game, but it doesn't work as a conclusive ending to make me feel emotional, if you know what I'm saying. That's why it belongs in B tier. It's still good, and the Squid Sisters are always amazing, as always. And now going on to a similar situation is the Calamari Incantation 3 mix, as it features our new idols deep cut with their own little twist into the song. And I kind of like this one. And I love that its placement is in the final climactic battle. You know, as this song has played in all three climactic battles. But I think this one is the most overwhelming. Like, there's just too much going on in the song. And sometimes being more simple just works a lot better in my opinion. And this just makes it not even remotely close being 
as good as the original in my opinion, but I think it's fair to put it in B tier. Shipwreckin' is another battle song from Splatoon 2, and it's good. I beg your pardon? With the chaotic gameplay of the Splatoon series. But musically, it just doesn't stand out other than the chorus and the violins, which I mean, I'm pretty sure nearly every Splatoon song has that, that tries to put a neat twist. Now, the deep cut boss themes are honestly amazing, and you know what? They fit the chaotic nature of our three idols that I wish we got more character development on, and hopefully, we get more in the DLC. And I'm also ranking it because the boss battles are too easy. Yes, I don't care. I'm ranking it just because the boss battles were that easy. Okay, don't ask why. B tier. Now, hero mode number 11, or as what the title implies, they probably have real names, but I don't care. I'll just call it by the number. Um, it's a pretty good, well-produced song, as you can hear in the background, but it just sounds uninteresting at times, and listening to it, it's just, yeah. And also, it has just a ton of random noises that don't make sense that would work better in other songs, but overall, really solid. Going on with the trend of Hero Mode Splatoon 3 songs, we have number 9. And it's just one of those songs that plays on some of the more tedious levels, like that one-shot charger level, or any puzzle level where you have to match, you know, the structure. And it's good if it wasn't already done back in the Octo Expansion, which I know the game takes a lot of inspiration from. So it drops some points right there, but overall a great song that creates tension, but nothing outstanding. Now on to our next track, which is the site number 5 song, which is World 5 in Splatoon 3, and it's just such a nice calming track. A very different pace from everything else within this game, and that's why I really like it. The flutes and the bass really mash well, and it sounds like I just stumbled upon like something ancient in a deep, mystical forest. You know what I mean? Just fantastic atmosphere music. B tier. Going on with the sight music in Splatoon 3, Mimicry, which is actually the real name. I actually decided to search it up this time. Um, AKA Site Number 2, World 2, whatever you call it. It's also great atmospheric music as the whole site is this abandoned industrial plant welcomed with industrial sounding song elements with the constant metal clanks in the background. It just works. I love it. The shop themes of Splatoon 3 are next up and I'm just going to group them all together because they're really similar. They're just good. Not much else to say. Along with another short one, the player creation song of Splatoon 3 is good just very basic you barely hear it that's it bye bye now this is probably one of my least favorite songs of splatoon 3 despite it not being in even in c tier but i don't think it's bad it's just my least personal favorite and it just sounds really flat because most of off the hook songs are really solid but it just sounds just oof, no i mean we do have a you know the occasional high notes from Pearl but that's about it and I think this is basically the problem with all the battle songs in Splatoon 3 they just don't fit the chaotic gameplay of Splatoon 3 with chaos with it literally being the theme still good though just my thoughts on the music in this game carrying off from what I just said Triple Dip is easily the song that suffers the most from this flatness, you know, it doesn't have any good uphill moments, you know what I'm talking about, it's really flat overall, so I think this is an appropriate spot. Now going on with our third in a row, Head Hammer is great, it's a great song that actually fits the theme of this game. And it has some really amazing chunks, unlike all the other battle songs. And while the good chunks are good, the other parts are bleak, very average, still solid nonetheless, B tier. Splat Attack 3, or just the Splatoon 3 of the original, is a great remix of the song. It feels way more rugged, and it just fits the game way more than just slapping on the original. 
But of course, you know, this remix is not even as close to the original, so yes. Also a little fun fact, canonically this was a cover made by the other band Seaside, another prominent band in the game who's made a couple of the other songs in the game, but the original band of the series, not the series, the song, they broke up after the events of the first game. Just a bit of lore behind why there's a remix. Oof, now for a bit of a speed run here. I have 9 background songs that I have as lobby music for Splatoon 3, and I'm just going to group a bunch of them as my opinions are pretty much the same, I'm not going to individually rank them, as I feel very just mediocre about them, but there are 3 that do make an exception. I'm ranking every single lobby music from Splatoon 3 in this tier B tier, while when the specific song Soak and Stomp Port on and slick moves are in A tier, but I'll go into that a little bit more in detail. Now, for the lobby music in Splatoon 3, I think it's a lot better, but it do, they do have a few misses here and there. A lot of music just sounds really bland, and it's just background music, and I love how it just randomly changes, and it always keeps something fresh, and that there's always more than 10 of them. So I think it always works, but the quality does dip down. Now or never, the Splatfest version is honestly way better than the normal one in all three games. And all three of the Splatfest Now or Never songs are extremely similar, so I, you know, I'm gonna just rank them together. And I think they're all very similar in quality. Now the Anarchy Splatcast, or just the background music of the news of Splatoon 3, is probably a song that you've been barely hearing, because now, thank god, we have the ability to skip the news, you know, it terrorized us Splatoon 2 players. And honestly, I think a few people are missing out because it's pretty good, and it actually has some parts that if you listen above, you may have never heard, and there's... It's just really good news music, you know, it fits our idols, and that's what it does, and it had some flair, it works. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed part 1 of 3 parts of this ranking. The next part will cover the rest of B tier and A tier, so subscribe if you want to see the rest of the ranking as it took me a ridiculous amount of time to make. So also drop a like. I won't always do these rankings, but if these do well, I will consider making more rankings on different Splatoon topics. With that all being said, peace.